if you still uh, feel hard, you cannot let go. How can you let go if you have still keeping this feel hard? So you cannot let go. It is just idea of let go. Okay? It is uh, sometimes you know uh, our indoctrination is that strong <laughs> that uh, some uh, somebody has a problem or the ideas and then say let go. Many, many people say let go, put down. But you cannot put down. If you have this uh, strong sense of something, you cannot uh, 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 consciously put down. If only you can, have, you have digested it. You cannot, you can let go. Then it goes by itself. But if there is a feeling of uh, being hurt, then. We have to also look closely at this being hurt. How it is, this pain, how is it? This anger, how is it? What causes everything, this feeling? We have to know this. We have to know really intimately, closely, and then, this, if this feeling has no more this strong control uh, on us, then we can just, okay, finished. But let go just uh, consciously, oh, I will, not, I will not keep it, let go. Just like uh, dropping the bell from the hand. No, it sticks, it sticks. When we want to let go, it sticks more, yeah. more. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So we have to go through. We have to go through. So how to digest it? This anger or feeling hurt or that. How to digest it? Digest means you <coughs> come to know this feeling. Come. You, you have this feeling, and then uh, you look closely into this feeling, and feel close in uh, this feeling, and you, you live with this feeling. You live with this feeling. You let come in this feeling, not reject and not resist. We are very afraid of having a feeling, and having uh, some kind of, uh, mm, yeah, this strong feelings. It, uh, we think we have to protect ourselves and we resist to acknowledge that we have this feeling. Once first we acknowledge, we notice, ah, there is this kind of feeling. Yes. So whatever it is, it is. We take it. We look into this. We look into this. Look at that. We leave this. But it does not mean that we act out this feeling, you know? That sometimes um, I get very angry and I don't know how, how to deal with this anger and then I just bang the door or the, the throw the things away. It is just uh, the acting out, but it is not the anger. It is not the feeling itself. It is only our helplessness to uh, not to deal, uh, that we cannot deal with this. So this, we want to have a relief uh, from this strong feeling. This, that's why we act out. But without acting out, how is it? What is it? What makes it with me? How does it come from? How, what is it? This is this big question. It hurts. It hurts terribly. And then, what is it? You know, recently um, I have a conversation with a woman whose um, husband died not too, so long ago. They were more than uh, 40 uh, years, or almost 50 years married. And the, she, the husband died. She's so devastated and sad, very sad. But then she said, 
You know, I'm so sad, and sometimes I cry and cry and cry. I'm just, just uh, finished. But sometimes in between and in the middle of the cry, I feel relief and joy also. Because she does not reject and she does not avoid this sadness. She is in the middle of the sadness and she finds this comfort also in the sadness. She even finds uh, the eyes to, to see the sunlight outside and feel the joy. So if we don't resist and avoid maybe bypassing, just go in the middle of this. There is a way to go to deal with this. But we need courage to acknowledge first and to open ourselves up. We are so proud in our life. I have said I'm so proud also. I don't want to admit I'm sad. I don't want to admit I, I, I feel hurt. I don't want to admit I am so afraid, you know? Yeah, but we don't need to say it in the public, but we can admit, <laughs> see in ourselves. Yeah. You, poor, you're sad. Okay, you're sad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 